back, everyone. It's been over a decade since Justin Bieber skyrocketed to fame when he was discovered on YouTube at the age of 13. Now he's returning to the platform that made him famous for a documentary series called Seasons. Director Michael D. Ratner teamed up with Bieber to chronicle the highs and the lows of the pop star's life and where he's at today. Let's take a look. He's taken a very long break and he's ready to express himself through music again. This album is different because of where I'm at in my life. There's a lot of pressure. It's got to be perfect. Please welcome director and executive producer of Seasons, Michael D. Ratner. Yeah. So Bieber canceled the last leg of his Purpose tour and announced that he was taking an indefinite break. And now this 10-part documentary series is sort of considered his comeback. Why was now a good time? I think, well, I actually just heard when I was backstage that he is now the biggest YouTube star ever at 50 million subscribers, which is pretty no. fascinating. Yeah. Wow. And, and that literally just happened while I was standing back there. And our series is actually the most viewed series ever as a YouTube original. Yeah. Wow. So I think those numbers speak yeah, for themselves. Yeah. That's but why. but yeah. I think also he was ready to finally tell his story. Yeah. And, and I think that that takes time and maturity. And he got to that place and wanted to connect with his fans on that level. Mm -hmm. uh, Haley Bieber, his wife, is, is a big part of this documentary. And we see really candid moments between her and Justin at home. And fans are sort of getting access to never seen before yeah. footage. Um, how are they doing and, and, and settling into married life? And why do you think that that was important for him to show? I think that he wanted to show every aspect of his life. Mm. And I think that <laughs> I, I had the good fortune of being able to see that that's a real marriage, uh, that they're really there for one another. Haley is an amazing wife, and Justin's a great husband. And I think that leaving that part of the story out would have been a great disservice. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I think that when the goal was created to tell the authentic story, it was let's be real. And they are the same off camera as they are on. Mm. Wow. Well, you mentioned being real. Um, in showbiz, it's a tale as old as time. A young star struggles with fame yeah. and pressure. And in episode five, which is called The Dark Season, it was out this week. Everybody's talking about yeah. it. Justin is quite candid about his struggles with drug abuse and the fact that he wasn't healthy. So when he reflects on this time in his life and you are documenting it, yeah. can you talk about you know, where he was and where he is now? Yeah, I think it takes, it's impressive to be able to speak that candidly, you know, and, and be able to make yourself vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I commend him for that. And I think that he had to get to this place in his life where he was willing to take ownership for some stuff that he did when maybe he wasn't sure exactly who he was. And I could say with conviction, he's the best Justin Bieber he's ever been right now. And that takes work. Yeah. So, you know, those conversations took months of trust to get to that point. You don't just go and ask people their innermost dark secrets on yeah. interview one. Uh, and, and that's a relationship that was built up on goodwill and time and you know, a, lot of, a, a lot of conversations off camera as well. Um, the uh, docuseries actually opens up with uh, Justin returning to Stratford, Ontario. Yeah. Um, what was that like for him to go back to where it all started, including you know, where he used to live, et cetera? He takes great pride in being Canadian. He, he, he really does. He owns it. Um, he's a huge Leafs, Leafs fan. Um, and I think that that trip back to Stratford was important to him. One of my favorite shots in the whole doc is when he actually is on the stairs. And we match that up to that iconic shot of him as a kid singing wow. out there. And, and, and I think that going back there brings him back to his roots. And it was really important as a documentary filmmaker to go there and see him in his element there with Haley and ultimately see where he came from. And I think uh, you're gonna see that come back around in episode 10 as well. Okay. Every, it seems like every major entertainer of this generation has done a self-produced documentary that mm. takes us behind the scenes. Of course, the OG of this was Madonna, but I mean, yeah. Katie, yeah. Gaga, Taylor's just done it. And so as more and more artists do this, for you as a storyteller, you're an artist too, you're a documentarian, you're yeah. supposed to be documenting and revealing as close to the truth as possible. Do you feel conflicted when sometimes it can be used as a promotional vehicle for somebody's career? I think we got on the same page quickly. This was not a Justin Bieber commercial for the album. It was about telling his true story. And he didn't come up with a laundry list of restrictions. Okay, don't, don't mention mm -hmm. this or that. You could go or, anywhere? Or, or cameras off. Yeah. Ask me anything. I want to okay. get it all out there. This is my truth. And, and as such, he made it very easy to be an objective storyteller and ultimately not make a puff piece.